Hello there, I'm Dennis Province from the um, IDEA National Resource for Quantitative Proteomics. And uh, someone had asked a question about going, how to uh, do a search of your proteins if you have a TMT experiment by Max Quant. So I do this uh, a couple of times a week uh, sometimes. And uh, so I thought I could share information and help you out a little bit. So one of the most important things when you're doing a TMT experiment is that you have the parameter file. The parameter file will tell you um, the isotopic distribution for the, the lot that you have. We use uh, the reagents that we use to do our TMT experiments are from Thermo Fisher. And so they send us these, um, these sheets and it's very important that you get those uh, the specific isotopic distribution for the kit that you're using. Um, I'm going to go through this example here, but I just wanted to kind of just go through the outline here. So when you go into max quant, you need to go into group specific parameters. Uh, then you go into uh, type, and then you go into the re um, click this box here that usually says standard and change it to reporter I on MS3. And um, then it will pull up this box down below where you can select whether it's a 10plex or a 6plex. And then we can change all those factors that we were talking about, those correction factors based upon the uh, kit that we're using. We also want to load the data files into max quant. I'm assuming you can do that. We might want to change the experiments. Um, I'll sh uh, and I will do that if it's, if you're doing, a lot of times people that do TMT also want to do uh, check for phosphorylation, they do a phosphoenrichment. And so we can set that, I can show you how we're going to set that up as well. Um, uh, the phospho experiment, so we'll have two data sets. We'll have one, the superfractions for my lysate, um, and then I'll have superfractions for my phospho. The phospho's are all PTMs, so I want to make sure that that's clicked over here in this particular column. And then I want to make sure that I have the correct digestion, that a trypsin uh, digestion uh, uh, is uh, pretty common. And then modifications, because we're gonna be doing a, um, a, a phospho in, in this example, then I will also include that in the variable modification. Other modifications which are included are the oxidation and the acetylation of the uh, N-terminus as um, and the variable modification here is the um, is that uh, carbamylomethyl group that we put on the end of the uh, serine. I mean the the cysteine uh, residue. The other thing we do are the instrument uh, parameters. We ch we tend to leave most of Max Quant's settings the way they are but we like to change this first surge peptide tolerance to five and 2.5 uh, for the main uh, surge peptide tolerance um, for the Orpi traps that we use. Um, we need the global param in under global parameters, we need to go find uh, the FAFSA file for the organism that we're using. So if you're doing human or mouse or, or whatever, then you need to get that FAFSA file in there. And then I like to check it uh, so here's my Uniprot uh, FAFSA file for my baboon experiment. And um, then I can check that and make sure all the metadata uh, is going into the appropriate uh, columns here. You also need to go under uh, the advanced tab here and you need to add a separate FAFSA file for your uh, contaminations. And so you can get your contamination file, which includes a skin and other things that are found in the lab that work their way into your samples. And, um, and so then you can test that as well and it should look something like that. And then the last thing is to set the number of processors, uh, depending on what computer that you're using. Uh, you know, if you've got a, a pretty nice computer and you've got, you know, 16 processors and there's virtual core or whatever so that you've got actually 32 processors you might want to set the processors up to 25 or 30 so it's using the majority of that processing power because it's going to take a lot 
Uh, the suggestion is, is that you don't use every processor that you have in your computer because uh, anytime your computer has something running in the background and it, it, it could lock it up. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to uh, come back out here and um, go over to where I have opened up MaxQuant. I have loaded up my data. And you can see I've got my data separated into, I've got 18 super fractions here for my lysate, and I've got 18 super fractions here for my phospho experiment now that I did. I went ahead and changed my experiment um, label so that the TMT1 lysate uh, is all for the first 18 fractions are all included there. And then uh, TMT1 phospho, for my second experiment. And that's why, that's for when the data, when you get your output, then it will have uh, those uh, set up into different groups then. And then of course, because FOSS is a, PM, a PTM experiment, I've got that changed to true. So just to go through this real quickly again, group specific parameters, type. This is where I went from standard down to reporter ion MS3. Then I chose, this happens to be a Templex. Uh, I, I did not, this is just an example here, but if I wanted to change this guy based upon that sheet that I showed you, then I could just click on one of these guys, go to edit, and then let's say, I don't know, let's, let's say this guy right here is 7.6 or whatever for the 100, uh, for ION 127. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So then you change all those settings like that. Go to modifications. You can see that I've included my uh, phospho um, included with my other modifications. Instrument. I went ahead and changed those two things that I talked about. You don't have to. Uh, that's just what we do here. Our digestion. Changed it to trypsin. Here you might be doing lyc or something else. And then. Um, under global parameter, if I go to sequence, this is where I put in my uh, Homo sapien FAFSA file, and you can test that just to make sure that the headers all look good. And then the other thing I'm going to change here, I really don't change anything else here except for advanced. Like I said, you um, need to put your contamination file. I'm going to do something for a second here just to show you. This usually when you open up max quant, this is the size of the max quant window. And I just want to point out that when you have that advanced tab open, you don't even see where you need to put in that separate FAFSA file for your contamination. So always make sure you um, open that up nice and big there. Um, back to your raw data, select your number of processors down here, hit the start button, cross your fingers, and everything should be good. So I am, I think I'm done. I'm gonna stop there. So I hope this was helpful um, to at least one of you out there. Um.